Hey, you guys, come walk with me. A walking miracle being that I used to have back, hip, neck, and all those problems. I had a broken rib. I had a broken rib, a broken collarbone. I had whiplash. I had uh, a concussion in the first car wreck. Uh, in the third, well, let's go back to the first car wreck. The first car wreck, the doctors, I had to see oh, about 10 or 11 doctors chiropractor, neurosurgeon, I've seen them more than once, um, massage therapist, my regular PCP, ortho, what is it, orthopedic, was it an orthopedic doctor, child, I don't know, with so many, uh, let's see, the ER doctors, um, the plastic surgeon, uh, a muscle conductor, um, doctor, nerve conductor. I, I, I just really lost count. It was so, there was so many and so long ago. Uh, what I'm doing here now, let me pause for a second. But what I'm doing here now is I'm not walking very fast today because I want to try to increase my endurance, okay? So that's why I'm walking slower than I normally do. And I'm walking and talking for now. <laughs> but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing right now. Ooh, child, my screen is dirty. Anywho, um, so and then the second time that I was hit, you know, it jarred me forward. So it put additional impact on my neck and my back even though that time my car was not totaled and it wasn't damaged like in the first car wreck the first car wreck was a near fatal car wreck and it almost killed me the trunk was in the back seat pushed smashed in uh went back when shit was completely shattered um the back seat was in the front of the car and the front was pushed up towards the engine uh car was totally damaged it was a new fiberglass car that i had only had for five months let's see i bought it in february and then in july the near fatal car wreck happened so yeah uh the last time that I was hit, which was the following year, the first three uh, times I was hit happened in 96, 1996. So, this is the 21st year. Now, granted, mind you, the doctor said that I shouldn't be alive, quote unquote. You, you aren't supposed to be alive, Miss Lady, let alone be able to walk. And look at me, I'm walking right now as we speak. As I speak, I'm walking. So, um, I just want to say God is good. And another, I cried out, Lord, please save me in the name of Jesus. And he saved me. But child, I still caught that hit. I took the hit, a big hit. And, um... I was going to get my kids from the summer program that they were uh, attending and a friend of mine called and their household needed some food so I came home and took some food out of my cabinets and refrigerator and uh, freezer and made them up a uh, food basket a care basket or whatnot and uh, I've always done missionary work and I still do so now with the food and clothing that is and um, my nursing home ministry and uh, anywho I did that I, I went that way as I was headed that way this still old still 
Sanford and Son uh, type of truck. It said, bam, and hit me. He was speeding. So, that was that. Almost killed me. So, yeah, I just give all thanks and praise unto God. You know, the most high God. There is none higher than the Lord in heaven above. None higher. You know, the devil is a lie. And every, he's a lie. L-I-E. And every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God is true. Not only can I walk, but I can just have a <laughs> Two. <laughs> I can jump. Over there, but uh, yeah, and I noticed too that even with me walking slow today and having this big old sweater on, child, <laughs> the first time that I walked around this track, it took me almost 10 minutes. Woo! And my uh, my video is set for ten minutes. Oh, I've really been walking slow. So here's my baby, my car that the Lord blessed me with. So yeah. So I have completed one third of what I set out to do today. Uh, I forget to do my mother's one time around. I'm on the second time now. But uh, this will probably cut off. But I would just like to encourage you for whoever it is that wants to lose weight, if you are not satisfied, with the condition of your body and or your health the condition that you know the state that your health is in I encourage you today to change it do something about it get up and I don't care if you are so overweight that you have to get in a chair like an office chair with wheels and just start twisting back and forth doing some exercises that way or take a scarf and put it behind your head and twist you know from side to side that way or just start out just walking in place walking in place whatever it is that you have to do just do it get it done hashtag weight loss 2017 weight loss challenge Get it done. Because nobody is going to, nobody but God is going to love you more than you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, who else is going to love you? I love myself and I'm doing this for myself. Because once I saw that I had lost the first 10 pounds, I was encouraged. I was like, oh, I wasn't even getting on the scale. And now, mind you, I did get a little discouraged because I saw, I'm like, okay, I lost that first uh, 10 quickly. Then I lost the, I got sick with the flu and lost that second five quickly. However, I didn't want it that way, but I'm still maintaining, what, two, three weeks later? I don't know, a couple weeks later. But anyway, um, then I lost like three, four three more pounds then it looks like the scale was between a pound and a half and two so I don't know if I've lost 19 pounds or 20 but I know that I've lost at least 18 okay <laughs> 18 or 19 so I'll say 19 pounds now so yeah I am I'm getting it done but anywho I love you guys thanks for tuning in to my channel sorry I was gone for so long but I am working on me. Okay? I'm doing it. <laughs>